Yeah, that's drawing a lot of power. My UPS unit is on fire, basically. I'm testing the GeForce RTX 5090 in 4K. Well, that was fun. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090 embargo has lifted. Let's get into its performance, compare it to a 4090, and hit the like and follow button. For my 4K video editing, I use DaVinci Resolve Studio 19, and this is the Blackmagic editor keyboard that I actually use. And while this is running, we're using the Kingston Fury Renegade 6400 mega transfers, 96 gigabytes right here, on the MSI Meg X870E godlike motherboard, yes, an $1,100 motherboard, and the AMD Ryzen 9 9950X, 16 cores, 32 threads. But if you wanna see how it performs on the Ryzen 7 9800X3D for a lot of gaming, hit the follow button. And in testing the MSI Gaming X Trio RTX 4090, the Puget Systems DaVinci Resolve benchmark, it actually has an overall score of 12,062 with an overall score of 12,117. Gets broken down like this, the long GOP 124, Intra frame 107, raw score 132, GPU effect score 142, and fusion score 105. And the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090 comes out swinging with an overall score of 14,669, overall score standard 14,726. That GPU effect score of 204 is impressive. Fusion score 125, raw score 146, intra frame score of 111, and then that long GOP score 168. The MSI Gaming X Trio RTX 4090 got a Time Spike stream score of 17,745, with a graphical score of 18,897. Time Spike Stream with the RTX 5090 had a graphic score of 25,382, CPU score 13. 149, that's the 9950X by AMD. And obviously that puts us in the top 99% of all results. On the RTX 4090, we're now running the Speedway Ray Tracing benchmark. This is gonna give us a good idea of how far we've come with the RTX 5090 for ray tracing. And the RTX 4090 score for Speedway Ray Tracing benchmark is 10,161, giving this system a better score than 94% of all results. During the Speedway Ray Tracing benchmark, there was just a very minute amount of coil line, so not bad at all. Much better than any 4090 I've tested. And for Speedway, the Ray Tracing benchmark, of course, we are at the top 99 percentile of all results. On the 4090, we finished the Blender benchmark and it actually gave us a score of 10,995. The Blender benchmark score was 14,947, the top 0% of all benchmarks. That's kind of nuts. And that was just a tip. How does the RTX 5090 perform in Star Citizen and other productivity applications? DLSS4, so many more questions to answer, so many more videos to come. Like and follow for more.